Hello everyone, Manufa Collectibles here with yet another SciShow unboxing and review video. And today we'll take a look at Michael Myers from the movie Halloween. Guys, a huge shout out to Comic Concepts for sending me this figure. If you want to get this one or any other SciShow, Hot Toys or statues, make sure you check them out. I put the link in the description below. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hatos releases, posting videos, figure previews, and now 6 scale and filter videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification icon so you don't miss anything. Alright guys, enough with the talking, let's start with the unboxing, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, and here we have the packaging, and as you can see, we have a nice picture of Michael Myers in the front. You can see him holding the knife. This is the side of the box, Halloween, with the continuation of the picture from the front. This is the back with another picture of Mike Myers. Of course, the Sasha logo at the bottom. The other side of the box, your computer's Halloween. This is the bottom of the box with the knife. And last but not least, the top with the face of Michael Myers. So now let me open this up and take a better look at the figure and the accessories. And guys, this is episode five of our horror figure reviews. And please let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more. I heard that Pennywise is on the way, so let's stay tuned for that. Now this is one of the cover, which is the knife of Michael Myers. So let me remove this so I can show you all the figure and the accessories. And by the way, this is the deluxe edition. So it comes with a lot of accessories and I love that. Now let me remove this and underneath we have this tray where we have the base, the headstone and of course the pumpkin that lights up and I'm gonna show you all the details later in the accessories section. That's basically it for this tray. Now on top of that we have Michael Myers and I can smell the new figure here. So let me remove the plastic so you can see how you'll see it in the packaging and first impression, I like it. You can see the head sculpt, the hands, and of course the knife and the phone. And that's basically it. So now what I'm gonna do next is take everything out and take a closer look at the accessories. And here we have all the accessories and we're gonna start with the display base. And this one here is pretty much a simple one. You can see the Halloween logo on the top. It is painted in black, so pretty much that's it. Nothing new in this area. And you know, it will do the job just fine. This is the back of the base and that's basically it. Now for the next accessory, we have this uh, bed sheet, if you will, that you can put on Michael Myers. Unfortunately, my glasses broke, so I have to glue it together. I'm gonna show you later. I wasn't able to put that on Michael Myers, but I'm gonna show you this little kind of like a fake uh, head sculpt that you can put underneath and it will give you the illusion that you have the sheet all over Michael Myers. This is a very soft material. It's really fabric, so nothing new. There's no weathering whatsoever, but you have those little two holes in the front and these are the glasses, which this one looks good. I have to glue it, but I cannot put it on, unfortunately, because, you know, it will pop off. But anyway, you can see the detail nicely done with the glass and then you can see the gap in the middle. So when you put the sheet on, you're just gonna find that little hole and then just push it and it will look good. Now for the next one, we have the two knives. So one has the blood stains and the other one is a clean version of the knife. And as you can see, nicely painted. I love the details on the blade, especially those blood stains. The handle is nicely done as well. It does look like metal. I'm gonna give that to Sasha, very nicely painted. This is the other side and that's basically it for these two knives. Now for the next one, we have this um, phone. So you can see the, uh, it is a piece of plastic, obviously. You can see the, uh, the wire hanging in there. Very nicely done. Nothing new, there's no much weathering in it, but you know it is a good representation of this piece now for the next one we have this pumpkin which actually looks pretty nice you can see the details in the front nicely painted this is the other side and of course the back now the good thing about this is that this is magnetic so if you take it out like so you're gonna have access to the on and off switch and yes you don't have to put any battery so it's already included and installed for you so it does look good but you will have to turn off the lights to appreciate the light unfortunately because i have all the lights on it doesn't look that much bright then we have this um, stone here and as you can see our beloved daughter 
Judith Myers. So it looks pretty good. Love the weathering. It's actually pretty heavy as well. I think this is kind of like a stone type of material. It does look good. You can see the back as well. And that's basically it. Now for the next one, we have all this bunch of hands. So it's six hands in total. So I'm going to show you just two so you can see all the details. Now this is at the front, nicely painted. And of course we have the pegs already installed in the hands, which is a good touch in my opinion. And that's basically it for all the accessories. Now taking a closer look at Michael Myers, you have to guys see this in person. I love the detail, I love the mask. Now let me see how tall this figure actually is. And my tape is telling me that this figure is about 12 inches tall. Now taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love this mask, guys. You, see, you have to see it. Love the details, especially because you can see the eyes. This is the side of the mask. You can see some scratches here and there. Nazi painted on the part of the neck, as you can see there. This is the hair, Nazi sculpted as well. Very nice paint application. Love the craziness on the hair. Now this is the other side, you can see the ears, the profile, the head scope I think is pretty accurate if you ask me, love the detail overall and of course the top of the head. Now moving down to the suit itself, you can see that it has some pegs here so if you want to take it out by all means you can, I don't want to do it, <laughs> but then here you have underneath black shirt. Now these pockets are closed, the other one is actually open so you can put something there if you want, some weathering on the suit, this is the sleeves and of course the hand. This is the other side of the figure. Overall, I think it is a very good material. And guys, if you're still watching, please don't forget to like because liking this video helps a lot. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future Hot Toys or Sideshow releases. Moving down to the boots, it is one solid piece so that might limit the articulation. And don't worry, we're gonna check that out in just a second. Underneath, you can see the detail on the feet. Not much weathering going on. I think more weathering would be nice. Now, this is the back of the figure and as you can see, my Michael Myers booty and of course this elastic on the waist and that's basically it for the figure some detail here and there and that's basically it now let's do some articulation you can move the head to the side this much up this much and down that much because it is one piece it is kind of hard to move you can move the arm like so you can lift it for about this much back for about this much not bad in my opinion you can bend the elbow for about this much and of course the classic peg articulation on the hand now this figure has really good swivel and apple crunch so that's not bad at all and of course you can uh, lift the leg for about that much some swivel on the thighs lift it forward for about that much back is a bit limited so not much at all and of course you can bend the knee about that much and because it is one solid piece you don't have a lot of articulation on the feet so you can just move it just a little bit to the side so really that's all we can do all right guys enough with this let's do some comparisons and here we have michael myers next to freddy krueger obviously they look awesome together but i will say michael myers is a bit taller for the next one we have a pretty woman leather face looking awesome as well and of course last but not least we have jason all right guys enough with the comparisons let's do some poses <laughs>
Alright guys, my final thoughts about this figure is obviously very positive. Instead with the likeness, I think this is a really good representation of Michael Myers. The detail on the head sculpt, I love the outfit itself, the elastic in the waist, some weathering here and there, and I think it is really, really cool. Now, this figure comes with a decent amount of accessories because it is the deluxe, so we have the stone, we have the pumpkin, we have a bunch of hands, two knives, one phone, we have the bed sheet that you can put over him, the glasses, you name it. I think it is a really good amount of accessories for this particular figure. Now the articulation is also very very good, maybe one thing that we can argue is the articulation of the feet, because it is one solid piece, it limits the articulation. And because of that, my final score is 8.5 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also guys, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook group Six Skill Media for anything related once it's good figures, both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.